everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me. This is week 94. Here to give you an update of what I've been up to. Yeah, week 94. That's crazy even to say it. Um, but yeah, here I am. Still moving along in this journey. Same old, same old. Um, I have to tell you though, things have been really great lately. Um, I didn't make a video last week. I've just been so busy. I had a really, really... Um, Kind of set the time aside today to do this because it just seems like I, I'm not making the time it's not happening and I've been super busy at work and now I have a couple days off because um, of the holidays so I figured chop chop gotta do this now uh, before another week goes um, so I guess my best news to report is that finally finally after months and months and months of struggling. I am finally back in Wonderland. I'm finally back in the 100s. I'm not sure um, if anybody realized, I haven't really been so vocal about it. I have not been under 200 pounds in months. Uh, the last time I weighed in under 200 pounds was uh, in January. January 9th, 2012 was the last time I broke through the 200s and I actually saw 100s, a one, you know, was the first number on the scale. So I am finally um, well below um, 200 pounds. So that was actually a really great feeling because I have been really struggling with the same five pounds, six pounds over and over and over again. Um, the last video I did where I weighed under 200 pounds was video number 71, <clears throat> which would have been week 73. So if you want to check that out, it's kind of like a, I could tell, I mean, I was just in a terrible, terrible place, but unfortunately, you know, it just took me that long to bounce back and I'm still bouncing back. I'm not obviously at goal, but to break through the 200s was a real, it was a real mental breakthrough because I really hadn't, I hadn't seen anything below that in so long. And it kind of does take a toll on you a little bit. So, um, I feel glad that my hard work is paying off slowly, but surely. I mean, it's really going slowly. Um. But slow and steady wins the race, they say, so I'm okay with that. Um, still doing Weight Watchers, still tracking. I track absolutely everything I eat, good and bad. If I have a little cheat, a little slip up, I track it and I get on with life. I don't dwell on it. I just, you know, I have to be accountable. <laughs> Making sure that I'm moving a lot, um, getting my activity in, getting my water. Um, I am rapidly approaching two years post-op, so... <laughs> This is definitely a lifestyle. I'm sorry, I have allergies. Um, this is definitely a lifestyle. This is not temporary. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing everything I can to to get to where I want to be. Um, yeah, so I've been enjoying non-scale victories. Clothes are fitting that hadn't fit me. Uh, a couple tops I bought uh, before I had my arms done in February. Um, didn't even like, I couldn't even get them to close. Like, no way. And I wore one of those tops to work this week and I was like wow it must have gotten bigger <laughs> it was probably never that small to begin with of course your mind starts to kill these crazy things but um it was a nice feeling so I'm trying not to obsess with the numbers on the scale and just kind of you know enjoy the little things that come along with you know losing weight and having these little you know um hitting these little milestones um, so yeah, that's what works for me. Um, and I am now over 175 pounds down. I've lost 175 pounds. That's a whole entire person. Um, I'm definitely starting to come to terms with, um, losing this much weight and feeling comfortable, um, in my own body. It's taken me a long time, but I think finally I kind of, um, have been kind of having a breakthrough, you know, regarding that. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next uh, couple days, the holiday tomorrow. I hope everybody has fun. It's going to be a hot one out there. I don't know where everybody is, but here it's burning up. It's going to be uh, probably close to 100 degrees tomorrow. So this is actually my sundress that I wore on Memorial Day that I had mentioned. I, I just, uh, yeah, it's so hot out today. I figured it's a good day for this dress. Um, tomorrow I'm going to wear the same dress, just red, a red one. <laughs> So I can do a little, I'm going to show you guys my dress. Then I'll also show you guys a picture that I took July of 2010. So me two years ago. My life was very different two years ago. So I'm going to show you my dress. This is me 175 pounds down. This is 
keep my pounds down, like I said, and take a look at this picture. This was me of July 2012, um, 175 pounds heavier. So there you go. Oh, also, uh, my arms, uh, my brachioplasty was almost four and a half months ago. I know that's crazy. I didn't say that. I'm still healing. I'm still red. Um, still massaging. Still have some, some. My scars are still very prominent. Um, but I'm very happy with the um, results. I never, ever in a million trillion years would have ever been able to wear. Um, anything like this or sleeveless and feel comfortable because there was just so much excessive skin um, so I'm very happy about that but basically that's it I'm finding myself in a good place for change <laughs> I'm feeling positive so um, thanks everybody for checking me out for following my journey um, all your support your comments really mean a lot to me and um, everybody else actually you know just hearing from you you motivate me you keep me on track and I appreciate it so much uh, and I will be back for another update next week. Hopefully I'll be right back on track. So that's it. Have a great, safe holiday. And I will check back in soon. Take care. Bye.